what do you think will be the impact on frontliners if the pandemic is prolonged, especially now that the world has yet to see an effective vaccine against a COVID-19? Right. Um, that's that's a good question, Jasmine. Uh, first, there's a great deal of preparation uh, many countries such as the UAE has been doing in line with the, the prolonged impact of, of the pandemic. So first, um, private or government entities uh, have been continuously uh, interjecting through their uh, programs internal to the to the to the country or to the to the company rather uh, the need to be more aware um, to take care of the self and the psychological first aid that was mentioned by uh, Mama Eliza in here is something that we have also adopted in a sense that uh, there are counseling centers internal and external to different companies um, not just for uh, first uh, I mean for those frontliners but also for all the rest of the people in the organization. So in that aspect, we're trying to see how well we can sustain the well-being of the people in the area and to give them some sort of uh, psychological safety as an idea so that the the long-term impact of the pandemic um, you know, can be contained. So I think um, in the next one to two years, we will be more vigilant in safeguarding our our uh, you know our our well-being in terms of physical mental and social because the, these three aspects are taken into account you know by by different organizations uh from around the world internal or external to the company um giving services to the employees so yeah for the next one to two years we'll be more um you know vigilant and we'll be more conscious about the way we uh, look at the safety of the people because in, in that aspect, uh, the impact can still be felt. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, how are the children being affected by the pandemic psychologically? Is there anything that we can do while we wait for a solution? Right. It, it, that's um, a very challenging question to address solely because um, all sectors in the community, including the government, has been working hand in hand. So. Uh, at the offset, um, all the universities and even the um, formative education sector, um, elementary, high school, we have around eight uh, Philippine schools in the UAE. They're being closed. Um, and even if they wanted to move into uh, blended learning, they just can't, you know, just to consider the condition of, of uh, the children particularly. But in terms of the sector, you can see similarities in the Philippines as well. We're in you will find um, the the um, healthcare sector um, being being in the forefront, very much into that um, upgrading of, of um, awareness. Uh, I mean, um, to, to fully make them be aware of the assist of the process. And many of the in, the companies have also included the use of I mean the the the, the use of this insurance were in the specification on. Um, consultation for mental health uh, related um, uh, activities or undertakings must be reflected. So I think um, in terms of the sector, it's purely, um, it's kind of across the sector, Um, even those that are in industry um, related to manufacturing, um, no matter how difficult it gets, uh, it's not still 100% in operation. There's still a shifting of the 70-30 type of reporting, you know, um, when it comes to the actual reporting in a week time. So it truly, it's across um, industry that when you talk about being careful and being um, aware of, of the, um, the pandemic, you can see how the adjustment to the new normal would go. Let's talk about, there are some people who are thriving uh, with the isolation, with the in, yung, 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 yung iba mas tumataba sila naman ay nagiging fit mas nagiging creative um, the question here is what makes others thrive and others wither alright um, uh, first and foremost let me connect my context of discussion with uh, the discussion of Mam Eliza uh, earlier on so there are also extremes in in the in the uh, manifestation yes yeah, so when we talk, when you talk about uh, the press, for example, to, to take an example, the press individuals, they can either overeat or they may lose their appetite. 
Okay, so I, I cannot basically make an inference at an instance that these people are thriving more than the others, all right? But maybe it's a way um, for them to cope, you know, because it's part of the, the criteria uh, set their forth in terms of the clinical manifestation of uh, mental illness, particularly depression. Um, at times, uh, it's not just about uh, the aspect of that you cannot sleep, but you oversleep. We call it hypersomia instead of insomnia. So that can also be a manifestation, you know. So there are some people who can even sleep that I have known part of the consulting community that we have in the volunteer work that we do. They can sleep up, up to 18 hours, you mm -hmm. know. They, they may have to wake up at some extent and take some food um, in there for an hour or two, and then they sleep again. You know, so there are cases that it's like that. So, but the worst thing that can happen, uh, of course, I was... Um, mentioned by by our expert, um, Ma'am Eliza, I was more on the um, ideation um, of committing suicide or self-harm. We call it like that now nowadays um, to reframe uh, the negativity in, in the term itself. So the, 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 the uh, variable, important variable we're talking about here is that one, one, a person is losing hope. Once, once that um, word is out of the equation, definitely that person doesn't appreciate the beauty of the world and anything that comes into it. So that's um, essentially it. And maybe in the actual word uh, thriving, there may be some individuals who can really cope that well. And the, at an offset, you, know, you can see um, how the weight has been added over the time during the pandemic. That could, if, if that is not a case of depression, because it has to be clinically diagnosed, of course, before we can say and infer that that person is, is um, clinically uh, depressed. Uh, I can say that there are some people who can really cope well and convert the negative into positive. You know, all of us have this instantaneous um, ANT, you know, that's the automatic, automatic negative response, uh, on, uh, automatic negative thought. Rather, as a response to what's happening. So when uh, this um, pandemic hits the nation, um, we, we can all have a flight or fight response. Okay, So for those who thrive that much in, in the truest essence of the word, I can say that these people have the ability to really bounce, not just bounce back, but bounce forward. You know, So the, the, the new uh, perspective we're looking into now is not just to withstand the test of time, but to move forward and um, you know thrive, not just to to survive. Yeah. Thank you. Mga gano po pa kayo ka aware na kasing importante ang physical health katulad ng ating mental health. Yung pong ating pag-usapan, pagbabalikan, kabayaros. Okay. 